good soccer, not only the last three playoff games, but the last 11 games of the season. And we felt like we needed to make a good push uh, at the end of the season, uh, which has kept our momentum going in the playoffs. And uh, we've played well in, in the playoffs, but we've played tough competition. And even though it's a 5 nothing win against Edmonton, it was still a, a close game. And uh, you know, even at halftime, uh, when we came in at halftime, we felt like we still really needed to make a push uh, in the second half, which we did. Uh, Puerto Rico, the defending champions, uh, we went down there with the mindset of uh, needing to get a result. And we didn't know what kind of result it was going to be, but the 3-1 result was obviously uh, good for us. And then to come back home and get the first goal, uh, I think really set the tone for the rest of the night and pretty much has set the tone for our mindset in these playoffs, which is uh, we're not looking to you know, go into games playing for ties or, or keeping games close. We're, we're trying to take the game to the other teams and uh, get positive results. And we know that's going to be tough against Minnesota. Talk a little bit about tactics and particularly uh, Brian Schreibert. Yeah, I mean, Brian, you know, we kept trying to find the best spot for Brian on the field. And we knew that he's a versatile player and, and a guy that can play many different positions. And we played him a little bit as a right midfielder. Then we played him a little bit as a forward. Then in a couple of games, he had to play right back for us because we had some injuries. And he's a guy now who's found his groove as a forward. And uh, he and Abe have a, a good strike partnership up, up front. And they... They feed off of each other real well, but I think a lot of Brian's success has come from our midfield, and uh, we've got guys in the midfield now that are really moving well together and, and passing well, and, and uh, you know we're just playing really well in the midfield right now, and that allows Brian to find spaces on the field, knowing that he's going to get the ball and, and use his speed to run at defenders, and you know just like any other forward, uh, forwards sometimes go on streaks, and he's found a good streak right now where he's hot and. You know, he scored some goals, so he's he's done well. But I also think it's a testament to his teammates really getting him the ball in, in the right spots. Yeah, you know, first, uh, thanks for having us, and uh, we're excited to be representing the city of Fort Lauderdale and uh, Broward County, uh, Dade County, and Palm Beach County in the, in the South Florida area. 